Welcome once again to the folks for another video for your World Cup predictions and the betting tips. I hope you're having a wonderful World Cup so far. Uh, yeah, well, it has not started as yet, but I wish you best of luck in all your 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 bets that you're placing. As I say, try to place your bets early so that you can those get those really nice odds. Yeah, and I wish you all the best. Right, then let's jump straight into it. And today we're going to start off with Brazil versus Serbia. I left them off in the last video. I'm gonna have to give you this one now. So Brazil versus Serbia. For so Brazil versus Serbia, I'm expecting Brazil to take care of business here. A lot of persons uh favor Brazil to win this World Cup. Brazil also have a really good set of players and people going to the World Cup. You know them all, the uh, Vinicius, uh, Neymar, uh, all of those guys, yeah. Jesus, yes. All those guys will be going to the World Cup. But yeah, let's get back to this. I'm expecting Brazil to win. Both teams not to score in this game. Uh, and in terms of uh, combination bet, I'll go with either team to win both not to score. Predicted scoreline, I'm saying 2 0 here in favor of Brazil. Otherwise, it could be 3 0, but it's the first game, so I'm going to go with 2. Um, on the handicap system, I'm going to take Brazil to win here by a goal. Alright, so recapping predictions for Brazil versus Serbia. I'm expecting Brazil to win. I'm expecting both teams not to score. In terms of a combination bet, I'll go with either team to win and both not to score. In terms of a predicted scoreline, I'm saying 2 0 here in favor of Brazil. And on the handicap system, I'll go ahead and take Brazil to win this one by a goal as well. Alright, so those are my predictions for Brazil versus Serbia. And now we're going to skid along over to uh, day 6. And this is week 7. Wheels versus Iran. And for Wheels versus Iran, no, I'm expecting here. Uh, this game should be a close one, but uh, Iran and Wales is going to be an interesting matchup. I think it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy for either team. And so, therefore, I'm expecting Iran to challenge Wales, but uh, I do expect Wales to pull through at the end of the day. Otherwise, so I'll say Wales to win. And both teams are. Uh, <clears throat> not to score in terms of a uh, combination bet i'll go with either to win and both not to score predicted scoreline for me i'm saying hey wales win this one one nil and in terms of uh the handicap system uh, based on my scoreline wales winning one nil as i say if i should take wales to win by a goal here that means they'll start the game a goal behind and if they score a goal and win this game by one goal then, then they win this game 1 0, I should say. Then that means that would be a draw on the handicap system because on the handicap system it would be 1 0, yeah? So, for that reason, I'm going to take a draw here, alright? So, recapping predictions for Wales versus Iran. I'm expecting the Wales to win, expecting both teams not to score in terms of combination bet. I'll say either to win and both not to score. Predicted scoreline 1 0 in favor of Wales, and I'm expecting a draw on the handicap system here based on my predicted scoreline, alright? So, those are my predictions for Wales versus Iran, and now we're going to move on from those two teams to Qatar versus Senegal as you know Senegal they have uh, Mendy in goal and you have uh, uh, also Mane yeah those are two of their top players that most of the world know they have other top players too uh, I think Kuwaiti plays to them as well um, so therefore uh, but for this game now uh, Senegal versus Qatar it's going to it's going to be an interesting matchup uh, for me. I think I'm expecting Senegal to win here, uh, but it's not going to be easy against uh, Qatar. But I'm expecting Senegal to win. Both teams not to score. Predict scoreline for me. I'm going to give Senegal this one, one nil. And in terms of, uh, so we don't have the handicap system here, so we don't use that. All right. So I'm just going to run over my predictions for Qatar versus Senegal. I'm expecting Senegal to win this game. Both teams not to score. And also expect Senegal to win this one 1-0 one in terms of a correct score. Alright. So let's move on to our next game. And our next game is Netherlands versus Ecuador. And for Netherlands versus Ecuador, this should be an interesting match. Should be a close matchup, I do believe. But uh, uh I wouldn't be surprised if uh if uh this one goes down to the Y and if it ends in a draw. But I'm going to go with Netherlands here. So to, to, to stay close to, to, to Ecuador, I think it's going to be close. I think we're going to have about three goals in this match, and Netherlands are going to win by the odd goal. And uh, so, hence the reason why I say the possibility of ending in a draw is strong as well. So, uh, both teams to score, I'm going to say yes. In terms of the correct score, I'm seeing 2 1 in favor of Netherlands. So, uh, recapping predictions for uh, 
Netherlands versus Ecuador. I'm expecting Netherlands to win. Expecting both teams to score as well. In terms of uh, Park scoreline, I'm seeing 2-1 in favor of Netherlands. Right? And also, uh, we don't have a combination here. But if we did have the combination, you could go with either team to win and both to score. Right? So those are my predictions for Ecuador versus Netherlands. And now we're going to move on to the next game. And our next game is the England versus United States of America. And this one should be... <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, interesting matchup, a good one, I do believe. And so, uh, for this game now, I'm expecting here uh, England to take care of business and uh, both teams to score too. Uh, in terms of a correct score, I'm going to go with 2 1 in favor of England. And in terms of all that, so we don't have that, no. So, we're going to just going to give you a quick recap of the predictions England versus uh, United States of America. I'm expecting England to win, both teams to score. Uh, and also, in terms of correct scoreline, I'm saying 2-1 in favor of England. Alright, so let's move to our next game. And our next game is on day 6. And this game is uh, Tunisia versus Australia. And this one should be an interesting matchup, I do believe. It should be an interesting one. And I am going to have both teams. I'm going to take this one to be a draw. And then say both teams to score. In terms of a combination bet, I would go with... Uh, either team to win and both to score if i were to take a combination bet that is but in terms of the scoreline i'm saying here a one all scoreline and uh, all right so in terms of the handicap system though based on my scoreline i won't be having a bet on the handicap system all right so recapping predictions for tunisia versus australia i'm expecting this game to end in a draw expecting both teams to score as well in terms of a combination bet i'd say either team to win and both to score predicted scoreline one all all right so let's move on to our next game and our next game is uh, poland versus saudi arabia saudi arabia they should be used to these kind of climates because they're from this part of the world and so therefore it might work in their favor for this world cup so poland would have to be careful but poland they, they have a fairly good enough side and paper but uh they have not impressed much off late and so therefore they're, they're going to have to be on the lookout here saudi arabia is not going to be an easy team to beat and so therefore i wouldn't be surprised if this game ends in a draw to be honest with you i'm expecting both teams to score in terms of uh correct score i'm going to go here with uh i'm gonna go here with poland to win one nil but i'm not surprised if this game ends in a draw all right so uh in terms of uh <clears throat> hold on there in terms of uh hold on let me just address something here both teams to score yes uh and i have to change my score line here and this is incorrect uh let me give you this yeah so uh in terms of um recap and predictions for poland versus saudi arabia now i'm expecting uh both teams to score in terms of uh Poland, I'm expecting Poland to win the game. In terms of scoreline, I'm saying 2-1 here in favor of Poland, but I wouldn't be surprised if it ends 1-0, alright? So, uh, let's go back through here and uh, let's head on to our next game. And our next game is France versus Denmark. And for France versus Denmark, uh, this game is going to be another interested one, I do believe. And so therefore, France, they're going to have to be very careful because Denmark could end up toppling them as i remember is that whole hood about the the defending champions i think when france came back in 2002 i think it, the, the, the exited the world cup in the first round when after winning in 1998 yeah and so therefore they're gonna have to be very mindful of that but france has a very good people play a very good team on people and so once they get going then it, it, it should be i'm not going to use the term smooth sailing for them but they should do well enough expecting both teams to score in terms of a combination but uh, no we don't have a combination here so i'm expecting both to score and in terms of a uh, uh, correct score line well i haven't given my winner yet uh, so i'm gonna give him my winner uh, for this game i'm expecting uh france to pull through but denmark is not great denmark is not going to be easy and i'm going to take a 2-1 win here for france all right then so for this game i'm expecting both teams to score and expecting france to win as well and in terms of a correct score, I'm saying 2-1 here in favor of France, alright? So let's move on to our next game, and our next game is... Uh, 
Mexico versus uh, Argentina. And for Mexico versus Argentina, we're having here uh, Mexico versus Argentina. This game should be another interesting one. As I said, I, Mexico tends to pull up their socks in tournaments, and so therefore Argentina gonna have to be smart about it. But I do expect Argentina to win. Both teams are. Uh, to score uh, in terms of a correct score i'm going to say 2-1 in favor of argentina and uh, we don't have any handicap system so we're doing another handicap system so recapping predictions for argentina versus mexico i'm expecting argentina to win this game expecting uh, both teams to score in terms of coming in terms of correct score i'm saying 2-1 in favor of argentina all right otherwise it go up to 3-1 i believe argentina might just equal to 2 nil win here yeah uh, and so uh that's that for argentina versus mexico